Today's question comes from Cindy. Cindy asks, our two-year-old granddaughter had a severe allergic reaction to Augmentin, which she was taking for a urinary tract infection. She began vomiting, uh, went back to the doctor, and was given an anti-nausea medication. Unfortunately, this didn't help. She continued to vomit and then developed red welts all over her body. She ended up being admitted to the hospital and the red welts turned black and blue a few days later. Is there anything else that could have been done at that first visit when she had the vomiting to prevent the ultimate severity of her allergic reaction? Now, which of those reactions that you see in a particular child depends on the child, their genetic makeup, their immune system, the specific allergen involved, and the child's exposure history. Uh, so there are many complex factors here, and it makes it difficult in the beginning to predict which direction things are gonna go. Uh, we can't admit every kid with a minor allergic reaction, like one of the mill hives, otherwise the hospital would be full of uh, patients uh, because hives are common. And then there wouldn't be any room in the hospital for all the kids who really need to be there. Um, on the other hand, we don't want to completely dismiss hives because a few kids with hives will slide down that scale to a more concerning type of reaction. So we tell parents what to watch for. We say, come back if X, Y, or Z develops, and it sounds like that's what you did. Now, of course, uh, parents always want to know, what if? What if the doctor had started Benadryl when the reaction first began, uh, when there was only vomiting? Uh, what if they, would, would that have prevented my child from uh, sliding down the scale into a severe allergic reaction? Probably not. Uh, when reactions are that severe, the immune system is really revved up and antihistamines are unlikely to prevent that slide. They can take the edge off the hives and the itching, uh, but they aren't going to prevent the immune system from really revving up and creating a severe reaction. So to circle back to your question, Cindy, could anything else have been done to prevent a severe allergic reaction in your granddaughter? You know, a steroid might have prevented it, but we only say that in hindsight. No reasonable doctor would start a steroid when only vomiting is present or even in the context of run-of-the-mill hives because most kids don't progress down that path to a severe reaction and we don't want all kids on steroids all the time when they don't need them. Thanks again for the question, Cindy. Hope that helps for the rest of you. Thanks for joining in and I'll see you next time on Ask Dr. Mike.